Welcome back. This is another exercise lesson. In the next few minutes, we're going to complete a Geneva wheel, and that's the name of the model that you see on my screen right now. It's complete here with dimensions. This model was built using metric units, so if you're following along with me, you might want to switch that if you're using Imperial. Let's get started. And I'm going to start with a sketch on the front plane. Let's drop in three circles. Second. And here's the third one. Let's apply dimensions now. The outer circle's diameter will be 100 millimeters. OK. The second circle, 30 millimeters. OK. And the inside circle will be 20 millimeters. OK. Lastly here, I need to create a keyway slot. Here I'll use the rectangle tool. Let's place my rectangle about here. Center line. Right click and select. Let's select the line and add a vertical relation. And let's activate the trim entities tool. And we'll just click on some of the lines that I want to remove. I do that using the trim to closest trim method. OK. Let's apply dimensions now. Three millimeters here. OK. And two millimeters here. OK. The sketch is fully defined. Let's exit the sketch. Take an isometric view. And let's activate the extruded boss command. Select our sketch, and the property manager opens. Blind extrusion. Since we've got more than one contour, we need to specify the contour. Let's make a 5 mm extrusion in direction 1, and a 5 mm extrusion in direction 2 as well. OK. Let's insert a new sketch on this face. Right click, Insert Sketch. Take a normal 2 view. First, I'm going to use a 3 point arc. I'll place the arc about here. Now I'll drop a construction line between the center of the arc and the origin point. Right click and select. Now select the construction line and add a horizontal relation. And let's apply dimensions to the construction line. Let's say 60 millimeters. OK. And the arc, a 20 millimeter radius. OK. And OK. Now we need to create a slot. Let's drop the line about here. Right click and select. And let's apply dimensions. I'll make the line 20 millimeters. OK. And OK again. Let's activate the Offset Entities tool. Select the line. Offset Distance will be 3 millimeters. And let's check all the options. Select Chain, Bidirectional, Make Base Construction, and Cap Ends using Arcs. OK. Let's add one more construction line between this point here and the origin point. Right click, select. Let's select both of our construction lines and add a collinear relation. And let's place an angular dimension here. Let's say 30 degrees. OK. Notice in my sketch I've got one closed profile and one open profile here. Let's exit the sketch. Extruded cut. Select the sketch. Uncheck direction 2. Here we need to select the two contours. The end condition through all. And click OK. Now I'm going to use the circular pattern tool. To create a circular pattern, I'll need an axis. Let's go to Reference Geometry, Axis. For my reference planes, I'll use the top plane and the right plane. And click OK. The axis is currently selected. Let's activate the circular pattern tool now. For features to pattern, we'll select Cut Extrude 2. Six instances is good. And equal spacing is checked. 
Let's click OK. Let's take an isometric view. Lastly here, we need to extrude the central hub. Right-click and show the sketch. Activate the Extruded Boss tool. Select the sketch. And now we select a contour. It'll be 15 millimeters in direction 1 and 15 millimeters in direction 2. Let's click OK. And now let's hide the sketch. Right-click, Hide. Here is our completed Geneva wheel.